TJ the Black T here with another review video. Now these sneakers are not mine. Um, I decided, you know, my boy wanted these, so I decided to throw him the assist. Um, found these online for a pretty good price. Something he was looking for. I let I hit him up, said I found them, decent price, and you know, should I pull the trigger? He said go ahead. So these came in the mail today, so um, throwing up a quick review video before I hand them over to him. Um, these I bought off Jimmy Jazz. I have not purchased anything from Jimmy Jazz previously in store or online. Um, where I'm, you know, in, in New York, there are a couple of Jimmy Jazzes around, but it's in places I don't really go too often. So, or you know, or the one they have one in the city uh, around Herald Square, Times Square area. But, you know, there's a mess of Foot Lockers all over the place. So more than likely, you know, if I'm copping something, I'm going to Foot Locker or something. Just, you know. So the only thing I am unhappy with so far is they do charge shipping. They charge, uh, I think, uh, $8 shipping. And it came in the bag. You know, really not a fan of the bag. Um, I do prefer double boxed. You know, just my thought. If it's going to, you're going to charge shipping. Double box, please. That would, you know. But, whatever. It doesn't seem to, like, from the feel of the box and everything, it doesn't feel like there was any damage to the box itself. But we'll see. So, it might not be such uh, a big deal. But, let's see. Those come in your orange box. Uh, oh, they put the receipt in. Let's see, how much did I actually pay for these? I paid $86 plus the shipping, you know. So in total, $94. Original retail of these. Oh wow, they put they put the sale or they put their stock sticker all over over the actual size sticker. That's really stupid. Wow. Anyway, uh, original retail on these I think was at $150. Um, these came out last year, so I was surprised that they was actually still in stock anywhere. Um, there are some sizes left, but I was surprised to find my size, cause, or our size, because my boy has the same sneaker size. Um, size 9 is generally, you know, a popular size, so they kind of go quick. Um, the hell? So I removed this sticker, that stock sticker, and, like... This is a size 8 box, but they put this, they marked over and put size 9. So I'm kind of worried of what's in here. So far, this is a bad experience thus far. Uh, okay, at least it's the correct sneakers. Now I gotta check both sizes and everything to make sure these are the correct size. But anyway, you got the Air Bacon, um, you know, Shaken and Bacon. Um, these did come out in 97. Um, Penny Hardaway rocked these a couple times. Um, I have heard these dubbed the um, mustard and ketchups, you know, from the red and yellow. But, um, you know, you got this white stuff on there. But overall, a pretty classic shoe. Able to find them, pick them up for my boy, like I said. So I will throw it on foot look, of course. You know, these are my size, so why not give you guys the full experience, a full review. Let me just make sure these are size 9. Okay, they are. Good. So you got this entire, you know, red upper with your little red mesh through. You got your yellow laces going all the way to the top. Which your Nike Air on the top of the tongue. In red. Got your Nike Air on in the back, Nike swoosh on the toe, pretty simple sole. Um, these are a simplistic shoe. It is a, it's a simple classic shoe, uh, like most you know shoes that came out in the '90s. Simple, but classic. So it's like something you, you rock with, regardless. So that's one. Let me just make sure these other ones are size nine, because I don't want to get stuck with two different size shoes. And these are a nine as well. Okay, so 
so I guess they gave me a replacement box, which is kind of weird, but whatever. So, got your air bacons. Not bacon as in the food, bacon as in shaken and bacon. So you got those. Pretty classic shoe. You got your Nike swoosh on the outer angle as well as the inner angle swoosh on like the outer side of your foot. Interested to throw these on, see how they fit, um, see how they look. I've never owned a pair of these. Um, it's a shoe that, you know, it's cool, but it's, you know, I don't know. Like, it just rubs me weird a little bit. But who knows, maybe I'll put them on. Maybe I'll change my mind, who knows. Maybe if they don't fit my boy, then, you know, maybe I'll keep them. Who knows. So, you know, the entire tongue upper is mesh. So, it's a... Uh, pretty dope shoe so don't forget to like me on all social media twitter facebook instagram and snups and now new tumblr uh i joined the tumblr world you know my boy you know the same one i'm giving these shoes to does tumblr he got me into it so for you know for sakes i'm going to promote it also on my youtube channel so I will be posting sneaker related things as well, you know, whenever a new video goes up, I will throw it up on there as well. So without further ado, the on foot section will be coming up next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'm everywhere. So next time, TJ the Black T is out. TJ the Black T back with the on foot look of the mustard and ketchup OG colorway of the air bacon. Size wise, I would go true to size, and to be quite honest, these look pretty damn fresh on feet. Might might have to tell my boy better luck next time. <laughs> I'm keeping these for myself. These just look too clean on feet. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so until next time, TJ the Black T is out.